guys, what's going on? Um, you join me here, currently on the way to Liverpool, going to DRW Performance today. Um, so we got a couple of plans booked for the car. Um, I have got a stage two map booked in, uh, VRSF downpipe. Um, and I'm gonna go for a stage three gearbox tune as well with that. <laughs> Gotta get the coffee in, because it's early. Um, yeah, uh, gonna go for the stage three gearbox tune as well. Um, heard a lot of stuff about that. Everybody saying, you know, it's really good. You get really good uh, results from it. So, and uh, I've also heard that you don't really want to be tuning these uh, vehicles without the gearbox uh, being tuned. So yeah, just thought I'd make a quick intro anyway. I won't ramble on too much. Um, so yeah, I'm heading on to the LW Performance um, in Liverpool. Probably going to get there in about 40 odd minutes, a little bit of traffic at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'll throw in a quick time lapse now and then I will get back to you when we get there. Right, so it turns out that when I got to DRW Performance, I was that excited to get started um, that I completely forgot to film an intro. So I do apologise, um, but here's a bit of B-roll anyway of what I got when I was there. Just coming out of the RW performance and it's done. Um, so, gonna go for a first drive. You'll have to excuse the fact that it's a bit of a mess. But yeah, very excited to see how this thing performs now. So, um, first impressions on the road. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. The thing is, because I've had so many things done at once, so I'll go over it properly now. I've had XHP Stage 3 gearbox tune. I've had the, the Stage 2, which it's now, it's now running 470 horsepower. Which is, I also had the Powerflex bushings put both in on the diff and on the uh, the rear, I believe it's the rear control arms, and they have made a hell of a lot of difference. It feels like now when it grips, it just sort of squats. Um, so I would definitely recommend those to anybody who's on the bench, uh, on the fence about getting those, 100%. But in terms of performance, so right now I'm an eco. Um, you know, no overrun, nothing, no silly pops, and I've still got the standard exhaust, both resonators in, but then if I go into Sports Plus, oh my gosh, right, so here we go, Sports Plus, drop it down. You probably can't hear it on the camera. Let's see if you can hear it now. And then, and then we're gonna give it some. say is wow the <laughs> I think these cars standard are amazing like very fast capable vehicles really really fast cars but if you were like me and you haven't really you know I've never owned an M car I've never owned anything super fast this is by far the fastest the fastest car I've ever owned um, I, I can't even I've lost the words Give it another little go here. <laughs> that 
gas that moves that really does get up and then just get out of wherever you are one minute you're here and then boom you're at the end of that stretch of road that you decided you wanted to drive down So aggressive, it's so angry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, wow. Absolutely brilliant job from the guys at DRW Performance in Liverpool. I cannot recommend them enough. Friendly, you know, I was stood there and, you know, we were, we were chatting about anything I needed to know. They were talking me through things. Um, really great garage honestly so if you're local to the Liverpool area or you're from the northwest um, you know whether it's Cheshire this sort of way I highly recommend DRW Performance um, if you're planning on getting any M light car or M car for that matter tuned these guys are brilliant and the custom map that he's put on this is just uh, it's fantastic so honestly mate if you're watching this video um, thank you because you've done a really good job I'm very very pleased um, yeah anyway right I think I'm going to end the video there guys because I don't really know I'm just going to I'm just going to drive this thing try not to get in any trouble of course always abide to the speed limits and uh, you know all that but yeah I'm going to end the video there guys so look, thanks for watching um, stay tuned because I've got a few more plans for the car um, going to be doing bits and bobs thinking about going to take a Nürburgring trip this summer uh, which should be really good so yeah anyway take care guys thanks for watching